Hello, Professor Hebert and fellow classmates. I'll be opening my speech by reading from Romans 8.16 of the New King James Version. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. In the hustle and bustle of today's society, sometimes we forget that being a true biblical theist requires preserving this childlike spirit. In my honest opinion, one key to doing just that lies in something Pablo Picasso once said. Every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once he grows up. It is for this reason I will be demonstrating today how to draw an angel. I started drawing about 20 years ago when I was diagnosed with cancer and went through chemotherapy for about 18 months. I also drew a lot from as my kids were growing up to help entertain them and demonstrate certain things to them. So I found this formula very useful in drawing an angel. Now step one is where you plan out the basic framework. Normally you do this in pencil because you need to erase it later on, but I'm going to do this in pen for demonstration purposes. First you do the head, you put a line down for the body, two for the shoulders and the arms, the legs, the feet, the hands, and finally the wings themselves. And there you have the framework. Now that you have your basic frame, it's time for the fun to really begin. Next we're going to draw the outline. Technically, we'll have a basic angel when we finish this next step. I like to start at the top and work my way down and then do the wings last. So first, we'll give it the face, which is kind of an oval shape. We'll add the hairline, the hair, we'll give it the neck. Follow through with the clothing on the arms, With the clothing, you give her hands, you kind of resemble an upside down teardrop or a teardrop shape. Wrist, his hair down. He has enough flow in the back as well. She's got long hair, and we're going to put her feet. I'm going to change these just a little bit, and then we're going to add the wings. And there you have the basic outline. Now I erase the framework so you can see what you have now. You can see you can easily stop here. We would like to add an, a halo and if you'd like you could also add a very simple face. Nose, some eyes, a mouth, the eyebrows. And now you see that this could be a complete picture all on its own. Now again we have the basic outline. I've erased the framework. Now we're going to begin step three, which is where becoming an artist comes in. This is where learning to be an artist comes in, I should say. First, we're going to start with the hair and add some details. Bring it down here, back behind the wings. I'm going to give her a face. Put her 
prayer because she's an angel. <laughs> Maybe add some fingers in here if we can. I'm going to give her a belt. Add some toes. And put some wings on the feathers. Nope, feathers on the wings. So then we're going to add this final detail up here, which is her halo. Now you see where you have your basic angel. You can basically stay here, leave this here, and this is, or you can take further courses and learn about shading and perspective and lighting. As we grow up and grow older, it's sometimes easy to forget that we're all children of God. Simple things like art can reestate that innocence within each one of us. In the Challenge of Effective Speaking, page 246, it says, The goal of a process speech is to demonstrate how something is done, is made, or works. Today I've demonstrated how simple it is to draw and create using your framework, a simple outline, and just by adding a few details. I know this formula works, because I've used it many times to create pictures, such as this one right here that I created specially for this project. Thank you very much. I hope you have a wonderful day, and God bless.